Professional macro lenses are hella expensive, so we don't have them right. What results can we get with like a kit lens that you get with your camera and 50mm lens which you got for $100? So I've prepared a really simple scene for this, although my tape wasn't ready for it. I decided to start with a kit lens because everyone with a camera have it. You know, simple 18 to 55 mm zoom lens that you typically get with your camera. When shooting macro photos, make sure to set the lowest f-stop available for your lens, which means the most blurred background and effect similar to what you would get with a macro lens. The lowest aperture or f-stop as we call it on my kit lens is f5.6, so this is what I've chosen. Other settings don't really matter for this. So I did few test shots and here they are. Pay attention to how blurred the lights are and the size of their circles. Now it's time to change the lens and try to make the same photo with a 50mm f1.8 lens which of course means that I will set my aperture to f1.8, the lowest available. As you may expect, lights appeared even larger using this lens and aperture because background was even more blurred out, which is actually the point when trying to do this kind of macro photography using normal lenses and trying to recreate macro look. Comparing photo side to side really shows the difference. We can see much greater bokeh on photo with 1.8 aperture than on the other one using kit lens and its lowest f5.6 aperture. If comparing these two, 50mm lens is definitely the winner with much closer look to real macro lenses. But if kit lens is the best you have, no problems you can get great macro photos with it as well. Just keep in mind to set aperture to the lowest available and to get as close to the object as you can focus. If you want to learn even more, make sure to subscribe, check my other videos and please give this video a like. It would really help me a lot. See you on the next one!